Welcome back guys this is Wolf Fire Studios and here I am with not a devlog exactly but a tutorial in particular so quite a while back I was actually having this issue that I wanted a particular meta human that you can create from meta human creator so I wanted something which can act as a placeholder for my meta human if I wanted to create any asset let's say it is any sort of a clothing accessory or it is any sort of gadget in my case it was actually making night vision helmets and making some customized dresses that belong to the middle eastern people uh, also called lizab and everything so to create that i actually needed the exact specification of a meta human character but in my case i don't need it to be a skeletal mesh so i wanted to find a way to create this meta human asset in its standard a pose and get it as a static mesh so i found a way and it is actually working so i decided i should share it with you guys and it becomes a tutorial so it's tutorial time right for that let's uh, talk about the stuff that you need first you'll need a meta human blueprint which is this as you can see this one so if you go to your meta human website and create a meta human in any way you want you uh, you can just simply then add it to your project and you will have a folder by the meta human name and its own blueprint okay and if we open it it will be your meta human and some stuff in the event graph and some stuff in construction script yeah these are the key aspects of your meta human okay as you can see this is the body feet torso and face so again i'm telling you this tutorial is for a static mesh if you want to do it as a skeletal mesh it is not going to happen in the same way because you can have morph targets in the output but you cannot have the exact bones because unreal only offers currently a way to convert it to static mesh okay so if you want to use it as a proper skeletal mesh what i will suggest is make it as a static mesh this meta human and then add some skeleton to it by making let's say your own custom skeleton or transferring the ue5 skeleton onto the meta human there are a lot, lot of ways to do it inside blender or any dcc of your choice so first to get this thing as a skeletal mesh why because as you can see body is uh sorry yeah body is actually a different part the feet is a different part all together as you can see these parts are separate right so to get them in shape you really need to do something so i made a new blueprint just a simple actor call it the enemy underscore mh underscore actor mh is for meta human and this enemy is because the meta human is for the enemy so just open it up it's plain empty right you don't have anything here just go to your meta human blueprint select body select feet torso leg and face or you can just uncheck and select it again basically select all of this right if there is any groom component on your meta human mine has nothing to it because i wanted it that way uh, but yours can have beard or maybe eyelashes or whatever it is so just copy it and simply select the default scene root and then paste it right done as you can see simple as that now um is the body separate no it's not so what we can do is we can actually yeah, put it on root so as you can see everything is here right as it should be now we already have this all we have to do is just go in your level pick a pick any empty space and just drag this actor anywhere in the scene okay so as you can see it's here right the meta human is here okay now there will be multiple lods when you export it to a static mesh so just simply select your meta human or actor in our case go to this actor tab and then as you can see it is here convert enemy image actor whatever the name of the blueprint is convert xyz to static mesh you can select it you can take it to the folder you want in my case it will be inside blueprints inside npc and i will call it sm enemy mh okay sm for static mesh you can just click save give it a moment and let me bring that window here so it's done as you can see you have this blueprint that you made now you have a static mesh see it works the lod will not work properly because there is no lod sync okay in meta humans you have this component called the lod sync as you can see it is a customized 
thing created by meta human creator so that you can handle the lod distancing which is it's not going to be there in the static mesh simple as that so what you can do is just simply export it and delete the not required lods okay for example in our case as you can see lod1 okay so whenever you export it and whenever you import the exported static mesh into your tool just delete every lod and use lod1 simple as that so yeah that's it all you have to do now is just click on this and asset actions export and that's it done let me see as you can see uh it's black and white because i deleted the textures by mistake when i exported it i removed it so it's a different thing but yours will not be looking like that so that's it now you have a static mesh which is proper scale to ue5 skeleton it does not have any skeleton but it is scaled properly you can import it in the tool of your choice and that's it you're good to go so yeah that's it a uh, small tutorial guys i hope it was uh, helpful in any way it was not present in any form the tutorial only exists for maya so i wanted some way to have the meta human static mesh at least so i hope it helps and that's it uh, see you guys in the next one cheers